Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am taking you guys along with me on a solo mom day. I am headed right now to um, a couple department stores that I really love. I love Bella's Outlet. I also recently discovered TJ Maxx, so I'm gonna try to go there if I can. Um, and I'm just gonna spend a couple hours by myself <laughs> shopping for myself and I'm excited. I haven't done this in a while. I really, really need some new jeans. Um, and a couple new shirts. I have been wearing the same thing over and over again because I'm kind of in this awkward weight stage. I've gained a little bit of weight and some of my older clothes just don't fit me the way I want them to. So I really want to get me, I want to get myself some clothes that actually fit and that I feel confident in. So I'm going to do that. Um, and yeah, I figured I'd take you guys along with me. I'm excited to have a little bit of a, a break. It's nice. I don't get it that often, but when I do, I try to really enjoy it. And then I always feel guilty. I always have that, that mom guilt. Like Caden was so upset when I left, but I am leaving at like their nap time. So hopefully I will be back soon after they wake up from a nap. So he's not too emotional, but He's definitely mama's boy and it is hard to leave. Amaya, she's at the age where, you know, she knows I'm coming back, but Caden is just, he's at that emotional stage. It's really hard to leave. But um, anyway, we're gonna head off to my first store. We're going to Bell's Outlet first. I have a return to, um, to do. I bought some leggings and they just don't fit me good at all. I couldn't try them on because the um, dressing rooms were closed, but I'm gonna return those and a couple shirts my husband bought and see if I can find something else there. I really love Bell's Outlet, especially the one that I'm going to. It is huge and they have so much stuff. So I'll try my best to film as much as I can while I'm in the stores. Obviously with the respect of others, I don't wanna like get anybody else on film on accident. Um, you know, you gotta be careful when you're on YouTube. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so I made it to my first destination, Bell's Outlet. Um, like I said, I have a return, so I'm going to do that really quick, and then we're going to shop around, see if I can find anything. I really want to find some, like, leggings and just, some, like, some athletic wear to wear on a daily basis. Um, like, cleaning and just, you know, on a normal day. Just comfy clothes. That's kind of what I'm looking for, honestly. Um, I have a lot of, like, dressier shirts that I can dress up with, but if I find anything that's super cute that I want, I'll go ahead and grab it. But I'll, just, I'll show you guys um, the stuff I get and the stuff that I find, and if I try anything on, I'll try it on and show you guys in the mirror if they let me, if it's open. Sometimes um, they're open, sometimes they're closed. I think it just really depends on the manager. But um, let's go ahead and go see what we can find.
is how my, there's just the situation. <laughs> um, I was going to run through Chick-fil-A and grab a salad because I really, really love Chick-fil-A salads. I will say that. Their salads are the best. The Cobb salad, so good. Um, but the line is so long that it's literally backing up traffic on the main road. It's that long. And, like, people couldn't even turn in. People were skipping people. It was just getting, you know, a little too fired up for me. So I'm like, no. I'd rather just go get my chicken tenders from Zaxby's. Everybody else wants Chick-fil-A, and I'd rather have Zaxby's. So <laughs> that's where I'm going to go. I was trying to be healthy or somewhat healthy, but it didn't work out. And sometimes you just got to eat what works, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm excited about it because I haven't had chick or not Chick-fil-A. I haven't had Zaxby's in a long time. Um, who's texting me? Oh my gosh, has anybody else been getting like the weirdest messages from people like vote now? Like this guy keeps calling me Jordan. Like I've blocked this number like a thousand times and he still keeps messaging me. Hi Jordan. Um, and he'll like go on. Oh, there's a car show. Oh, that's cool. The kids would have loved that. Darn. Why do I always miss all the good stuff? Yeah, y'all. Look at that. That is what I'm getting. Mmm, so good. But I am at the store. I'm eating some lunch. I stopped by Zaxby's. Be quick. I was starving. I, I don't have Zaxby's where I live, so I wanted to snag it. Wow, but here. It's so good. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Do you like Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's better? Zaxby's all the way. All the way. They have amazing food. In my opinion. Now, I'm sure, like, Chick-fil-A is probably, like, a lot healthier. I mean, considering it's probably, like, the healthiest fast food restaurant there probably is. But I feel like Zaxby's, hands down, has the best chicken tenders, the best. And they give you a lot of food. That's the thing with Chick-fil-A. It's so expensive, and I feel like they don't give you enough. Like, I feel like I would have to buy two meals to fill me up. Unless I got, like, a chicken sandwich, which I'd never order that. I always usually get, like, chicken tenders. Um... I'm not really a fan of chicken sandwiches, unless it's a McChicken. So, <laughs> anyway, I love, I love Zaxby's. It's really good. I know a lot of people have, like, other chicken places, but it's funny that I had never had Zaxby's until I met Dylan, and he took me there one night on, like, our, like, we had, like, a little mini date, and we, uh, we went through there to eat. And we just sat in the car to eat, and I had never ordered Zaxby's ever. So he's like, just get the chicken tenders. You can't go wrong with that. I have been hooked ever since. Yeah, crazy. Past 10 years, this man got me hooked on Zaxby's from one date. <laughs> but it's really, really good if you've never tried it. I'm going to eat really quick, though. And then go shopping. All right, y'all. I just got out of... Ross. Yeah, Ross. <laughs> I almost wanted to call it Bell's Outlet again. Um, and I also went by Old Navy. I found some jeans at Old Navy that were on clearance. I could not believe it. They're long on me, so I'm going to have to cut them. But I ended up getting two pair, one to distress and then one just to leave plain. They fit me like a glove, and I love the way they look on me. So super happy I went into there. Um, and then at Bell's Outlet, like I said, I found a couple shirts, a pair of sweatpants, I couldn't try anything on though because um, they had their fitting rooms closed, which is probably a good thing because that place was packed. I got so overwhelmed in there. I was in and out like really fast. I have one more store to stop at and then I'm headed home because I'm getting tired. Like shopping is exhausting for me. I get super overwhelmed, especially when there's a lot of people. Like I try to stay my distance from people, you know, as best as I possibly can. And y'all, this kid, like he was a teenager, but he was like kind of rude i was standing in the aisle but like only one buggy can fit down the aisle you know and i was there like shopping through the clothes for a bit and then all of a sudden he like kind of caught an attitude because he couldn't fit his buggy through and i, I kind of wasn't paying attention like i knew he was trying to come through but i wasn't paying attention that he had a buggy you know so i just kind of scooted my stuff over he ran into me he like slammed into my back and was like excuse me ma'am I was like, what? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, no problem. Hmm, I'm not saying nothing to you. You're obviously angry at the world right now. <laughs> but I just got my little buggy and I just left on out of there. Um, but anyway, people are looking at me really weird because I'm talking to my camera. So I'm going to go into the next door.
Alrighty, so I am back home now. I'm gonna quickly show you a haul on all the things that I got today. Um, so most of this stuff was for me for my birthday. This, this was my birthday gift for my husband was to go out and get myself some stuff. So I'll start with the stuff that I got for myself and then I'll show you some things that I got for nieces and nephews for their um, for Christmas and stuff. I'm not done shopping. I just got what I could find at the moment. Um, I'm done shopping for the day. I am exhausted. I'm not one of those people that can shop all day. I get really tired and overwhelmed being around like a lot of people. So by like the third store, I was done. Um, I got in and got out. <laughs> Um, but this is one of the shirts I found at um, Bell's Outlet, and I love it. I love anything that has like this seam right here. It's really flattering on my body shape. I have a very, I'm very short, and I also have a short torso. So something about these like, I think they're called pe peplum, peplum tops. They're really flattering on my body shape, and I love them. So this is just a dark green. It actually has black stripes on it. I absolutely love this shirt and it was $8.99. Then I got these leggings. They're just pink, um, I don't know, kind of like tie-dye colored. These were on clearance for $9.74 at Bell's Outlet. So I like those just for lounging on the house and cleaning and stuff. And I found this black shirt, which is the similar style to the green one. It has like the, um, the seam right here. I love these. I'm telling you, they're super flattering on my shape. So I got this one and it was $5.99 on clearance plus an additional markdown because it has a little tiny hole on the armpit and I'm just going to sew it back. So can't beat that. And I love the material of this. The next shirt I got was this one, just a little basic t-shirt. It was on clearance for $3.59 and it's just like your basic tee. I like it a lot. Very flattering on my shape once again. Next, um, this stuff is moving on to Ross. This is the stuff I got at Ross that I couldn't try on. I just tried this shirt on and it looks so, so pretty. I will be wearing this pretty soon in a video, so y'all will see how it looks on. But it's um, a dark green. I've been loving this hunter green color and it has the lace sleeves and it has like the V-neck but then it has also has a tie in the back and a v-neck in the back as well. And this one was on clearance for $7.99. Really pretty, I love this on me. Next, I just got myself some like little lounge pants, um, just really comfortable like sweatpants. These were $8.99. And then I found this little um, long sleeve, just like, it's not only a sweater, I wouldn't call this a sweater, it's like a workout shirt. Um, but it has like a little tie right here in the front just to wear with my leggings. Super comfortable and it was $8.99. And then I ran into Old Navy, Old Navy, I can't talk, Old Navy. And I never shop there because personally I just, I can never go in there when the sales are happening. I just don't ever have the time. So I always miss out on the good deals. And um, fortunately for me, when I went in this time, I was able to find some stuff on clearance. Well, not stuff, jeans. I found, these are the exact same pair, by the way. But they fit me so good. It's very hard for me to find jeans that fit me so good, and I love these. I love the wash of these. These are the Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise Secret Slim Pockets, and they're the size six long. They're long, yes, but I plan on cutting them. Um, so then I'll just cut them and roll them so you won't see the like where I cut them at. But these were on clearance for $10.99. And what I plan on doing is distressing one pair and then keeping the other pair just plain. So that's the plan. Like I said, I will have to cut the bottom because they're like super long on me. I'll probably have to cut like this much off. <laughs> but it's fine. I love them. I love the way they fit around my waist, my butt. Like I have like an odd shape. Um, and sometimes it's really hard to find jeans that fit like the back of my legs, like for some reason the back of my legs, like right underneath my butt area, my pants will kind of gather right there. It's almost like my legs are too thin for like my butt. I don't know. Or like, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, these fit perfect and I love them. So grab two of those. I also went to Five and Below. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the rest of the stuff that I got from Bell's. Or no, wait, was this from Bell's? This is from, yeah, Bell's Outlet. So I also got this for in our shower, 
just to organize our soaps and stuff. We have been using a little basket like sitting on the um, floor, but I'd really like to keep everything up high, you know, so the kids can't reach it and stuff. And this was $12.99. And then while I was at Bell's, I seen this clock and we've been practicing time with Amaya and with Kaden. So this is the shapes as well. So not only do I get to work with the shapes with Kaden and colors, I can also work with the time with Amaya. And this was $7.99. So this is actually for like homeschool. It, and then these actually move, the hour and the minute hand. So that's neat. Got that. And now moving on to the five and below store. I got a pack of Play-Doh for three bucks. I got this. This will be for, um, one of my nieces, she's a little bit older, so I didn't really know what to buy her. So I thought this would be cute. I mean, every little girl likes to write stuff down, so got that. Also grabbed a pack of nail polish. This was five bucks. Got some Nerf guns for one of our nephews. I'm not sure which one we're gonna give it to yet, but these were only five bucks and it came with two, so we grabbed it. I meant I grabbed it, not we. I always say we when I'm by myself, but I meant I. Um, and then I found these sweatpants at five and below. These are actually, um, I bought my husband a pair of these in the size medium. They were sold out of the medium, so I bought a size small. If they don't fit him, I'll wear them, so it's not a big deal. But these are the most comfortable sweatpants ever. They're very thin, but like the inside is really, I don't know, it's really warm. They're warm and, and cozy, so I got them. And then I bought this to try to help get me organized again. It's a little whiteboard. It has Monday, Tuesday, you know, days of the week. <laughs> um, comes with a little marker, and it's actually a marble set, so I don't know if you can see. The lighting in here is really bad, but anyway. Then I got a wooden puzzle. This is for one of the kids. And then I got a coloring book for each of my kids for now, like just to have for coloring for Christmas time. A new pack of crayons. And then I got Dylan a pack of Bluetooth um, earbuds. And then I got myself some as well. And then I got these. They're like little squeeze balls. You can just squeeze them and like, I'll show you guys. Like this stuff comes out. I don't know, the kids love them. So I got one of each for their stockings. And then at Ross, I also picked this up for my husband, one of his gifts for Christmas. So that was my little haul. That's all the stuff I got. I'm actually going to put all this stuff away, get all my clothes washed that I just bought, and enjoy the rest of the evening with my family. And I hope you guys do the same. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.